Now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. we got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. All right, Miss Susan, thanks very much. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. We're here for your hot takes. Call us at 412 575 2600. That's the number of the Bordis and Bordis hotline. We take those calls until 11 o'clock tonight. We do it seven nights a week, so there's always something to talk about. Gene Collier loves that. You can tweet us tonight at KD Pomp, at Gene Collier. The outstanding sports columnist with the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette is here. We'll begin with the news of the day regarding the Penguins, and that is they won a huge game last night, I thought, given the obstacles they faced against a team that had reloaded, looked to be um, all in. They weren't all on the same page last night, Columbus, and that was due in large part to the Penguins and their effort. But it was another costly loss because they lost Brian Rust. Who knows how long he's going to be out. It's so longer term. He was left uh, in the arena last night in Columbus with uh, a boot and crutches, and then Chad Rui, who had a sling on, he's also out indefinitely, really longer term. So uh, the injuries keep piling up. And Gene, I, I want to get your take on that game last night because I really thought, given what they were faced with and how they lost the game in Philadelphia, to come out and do what they did, specifically Jarrett McCann, who at 22 looks to be somebody who maybe a little bit under the radar and all of a sudden turns out to be the blossom part of that deal with the Florida Panthers. But your take on what you saw last night. Yeah, I mean, I, we mentioned on the show Monday, Bob, that that was really an interesting game uh, given what Columbus had been doing in the trade market and what the Peng Penguins had just uh, done in Philadelphia. And they came out and played pretty well. Uh, <coughs> I, thought I, I thought Columbus actually made a mistake in not starting Kincaid in goal against the Penguins. He always seems to play well against them, uh, whereas Bobrovsky does not. Uh, but yeah, a good game by McCann uh, and un those two unfortunate injuries. I, uh, again, this is an indication, I think, that uh, it just might not work out for the Penguins this year. They keep getting uh, uh, injured and they ha they're turning over the roster all the time, uh, trying to uh, fill in for these injuries or in some cases for bad performance. And it's just not a good vibe around the Penguins in my view. But I thought uh, a lot of their effort last night to do that on the road uh, against a team that now many look at as a team, to, or one of them anyway, mm -hmm. in the Metropolitan, if not the uh, good goaltending. They limited Columbus to just 23 shots on goal, and I think you're right. If I'm John Tortorella, I'm not playing Sergei Bobrovsky against them again. I'd go with Kincaid. They have two games coming up next week, at the end of next right. week. That's right. Um, and so I would make sure Kincaid would be there. I don't know that that's why they acquired him. But it would have to be one of the reasons I'd use to start him next week in one of those games. All right, All right uh, the other news of the day was regarding the Pitt Panthers. A lot of basketball tonight. Pitt loses at home to Clemson 62-48. to I believe that's 11 losses in a row now in conference play. Pitt was once 2-2. Two and two, They're now 2-13. and 13, And they were terrible in the first half. Uh, they only scored five baskets. That's it in the first half. They had, I believe, 16 points at halftime. Uh, but the final was 62-48. to 48. Pitt shot 27%. A lot of growing pains there with Jeff Capel and a team that is just outmanned just about every single night. Uh, also tonight, Duquesne, you know, they had St. Bonaventure right where they want him. Down, big, and they couldn't overcome it this time. St. Bonaventure went 68-47. And Penn State, even though they're not going to factor in any March Madness, i uh, tell you what, uh, they're doing a very good job out there. Ever since they uh, upset Michigan, they have been on a roll, and they beat another ranked team tonight. They blew out number 17, Maryland at home, uh, built up a big 28-point lead at one point, Gene, so they're playing a lot yeah. better for Pat Chambers. Surprised by them and uh, surprised that Pitt has not begun to turn this around uh, just yet, Bob, as you mentioned, 11 straight conference losses. And a lot of these games, the, the Panthers come out and can't just can't find the basket. I mean, they were down 8 nothing. They had, according to our own uh, Brian Backo, 5 for the first 21. That's a very hard way to win in the ACC or anywhere, really. It really is, and Pirates were losers today. They're now 3-2 and two after a 3-0 and oh start. 2-1 the final score. They got a couple of nice performances on the mound, but that's about it. It's an no offense today. We'll also, when we come back, talk about the Steelers, who have begun the combine, looking ahead to the future, but they're dealing with someone in the present who may be quickly part of their past. That's all coming up tonight when we come back. That's pretty good, Bob. <laughs> After this short commercial break, Gene Collier and I will take your calls on all of these subjects. Let us know what you think at 412-575-2600. That's the number to call. Get in. Your hot takes are next right here on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. 
The Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call is brought to you by Ireland Contracting, celebrating 25 years as Pittsburgh's number one home exterior expert in roofing, siding, windows, and gutters, where honesty and 